What's up, Mel? Oh, look. Owl Cow's back. Tim Couch. Ellis Island. Esty. Feeling these final two high numbers. Kevin, friend of Ernie. Piccolo is back. Oh. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Just a reminder, we'll be live from the break cave at the home Friday and Saturday night. Taking down this operation since Ed hasn't built my computer yet. So I have to take this apart. Basically just unplug everything, take it home, set it up. Of course, Ed can't build me a computer until I actually send him it. It's only been in my car now for, what, four weeks? All right, good luck. Triple team tiered final two boxes of Heritage High Numbers. Here we go. Yo, Dave, don't look now, but you got the uh, Angels. Ellis, you got the Red Sox. Stevie P, you got the Athletics. The almost playoff Athletics. Ashman with the Cardinals. Uh, Braves, look at Al Cow, brand new dude. Hitting up on the Braves. Thank you, thank you. Holy cow, you just blew my mind. Good luck to you, Al. Yankees for Mel Hart. Dave, you got the Mets and the Strohs. Cubs for Tim. And the Dodgers are for you, Kevin. There's the rest of your top teners there. I mean, the rest of your teams. Shane, did the illusions uh, sell out? It will. Roman Chrome. Freshen up the website. Bowman Chrome Choice we're going to do. That's pretty dope. So my baseball dudes, which is Pepitoni and Cook and Thundercats. Oh, I think I'm going to put up a case of um, Bowman Chrome next week. I also have more luminaries I'm going to bring home tomorrow. 17! What time is it? We should get that filled. A little last eleven dollar break. That's just a matter of running like what a 
$10 mini and knocks out how many spots? Like 10 spots? <laughs> so everybody would just buy a spot then if they were that. All right, doesn't look like anybody's trading. I think it was Oz. Final look at your teams, everybody. Welcome to the new dude, Al Cal. Maybe, hopefully you're in the right chat, Alan. We have two chats. Make sure you look on the website and get on the right one. I have a link. So this dude just won that. Tom, I'll put that on the priority level. We're going to do this Bowman Chrome Mixer. We're going to do some HTA. We're going to run our EBW. But right now, we're going to find some dope variations of playoff team guys. How about that? Uh, yeah, I think so. You can check with the channels. Nate Colbert. My glasses. Someone on Twitter, DMAC, I think it was called, Ed. Hopefully you got in it. Do I have a flawless on the website? I think I do. Twenty dollars? Rain, Cena, and Styles. Do you happen to recall what time that's on our time here? Uh, Central time, I thought it was like 2 a.m. Live? Yeah. I have to check. I have the network. I'm sure it'll have it on there. So we'll go back through these and check the backs, but we'll make a first run. Hopefully we can get... There's an Otani. Who has the Angels? Oh, David. So they'll put... If the card is a variation or something, it's written right there. So that's what we're looking for every card to make sure we don't miss anything. I know it takes time. 
but I always feel it's important to show every card on camera. That's just how we do it here. What's up, Johnny Rob? You got a mail day here, Johnny Rob. That Johnny Rob thing always messes up shipping. Johnny Rob is Ellis, Jason Ellison. I don't know why it says Johnny Rob. I don't have a Johnny Rob in our system. <laughs> I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Let's see what it is. So I get some Bowman. Too low. What up? Yeah, it's Ellis Island. So. I think I'm going to go to Ace Comic Con this coming week, next weekend. I can't do lines and stuff. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just taking Brixen down to... He's never been to one of those real ones before. They're just cool people watching. It's yeah, exactly. Costumes and everything. But I have to pay $55 to people watch. Oh, is that how expensive? Yeah. yeah. I've never been to Ace. I've been to Wizard World before. Well, you're probably like me. You're used to just getting comp tickets or you're working. That is true. So you never... I, was, I never really had a handle on how much these damn things cost to get in. Well, the last time I bought and that's tickets, the truth. I, I just, saw Kevin Smith and Jay, Jason Mewes, Jay, and Silent Bob get old. Yeah. They're like, do you have tickets to get in? I was like, I have tickets for the event. They're like, no, for the convention. I was like, no, and it was like 2 o'clock. I'm like, here you go. It was $70 a piece for uh, yeah. the Comic-Con down at... What's the big one downtown? Uh, the C2? C2E2, yeah. yeah. I didn't know I needed general admission tickets, even though I already paid $50, 60 to go to Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes in the theater inside of there. The lady was cool. She was oh, yeah, like, they have theater. Oh, here you go. Like, two, skip. She's like, there's only two hours left of the show. Here you go. <laughs> like, I remember when C2E2 started. Their first ones were way back in, like, the smaller little uh, convention hall at McCormick. Now they got that whole big main... You know, where they have food shows and shit. Giant one. Yeah. yeah. The daddy one, as I call it. Yep. I, I parked on the other side, walked in, I'm like, is it not near the smaller one? I had to go across the sky bridge to, like, the big daddy <laughs> side of it. Yep. Yeah, it used to be back in a little, like, corner. Yeah, Wizard World's in the summer at Rosemont. I never heard of Ace. Ace looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Wrestling girls are there. Divas, the, go the, bliss, the, hotness. the Goonies dude canceled though. Hey, you guys. The uh, there's an Akuna. Who is the Braves owner? Al Cow. That's a regular Akuna though. We had one dope Akuna so far doing this that I can recall. The variation one, it's like two hundred dollars, or at least it was when it came out. You also had a blue if you were in the last one of the last breaks. Of those purples. I still need to get that list for those purples. Yeah, they're still sitting. I gotta look it up. Uh, the Goonies dude was the Mikey. 
the old dude of the bunch. He canceled. His autograph, get this, was two hundred and like forty dollars. Two twenty or something. His autograph. That's more expensive than like Matthew Broderick. It's just crazy. He canceled. Yeah, because no one, no one bought anything. <laughs> yeah, no one bought anything, and they were like, oh, he's not available. Probably only sold 10 tickets. Justin Marneau did that once at one of the Chicago shows. On a Friday, I showed up, and I was like, for giggles, can you show me what number you guys are on for Justin Oh, Marneau? yeah. And they were on number four. They got to learn to use different numbers. They got to learn to use, like, you know. One set of numbers. 101, 102, 103. But I'm, it's like... Yeah, when you're on, like, number 10, it's kind of salty. Or when there's seven different categories, they call one through ten, but the guy's got seven tickets that go one through ten, so 70 people walk in. Yeah, the... Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. Oh, he's Thanos, that's why. Oh, yeah. It's more, it's more than just the Goonies, like, character, dude. He's in a bunch... He's apparently in something dope. called Ace Comic Con in Chicago. It's, looks pretty good. Some heavyweights there. Another Avengers dude, like the star of the Avengers. Thanos is a dick. Don't even know who he is. Don't watch that stuff for some reason. As much as I love pop culture... You know, and movies and cartoons, and I, I don't know anything about that comic world of the Avengers and the storylines and all that crap. I'm with you. My neighbor's all over it. He's like, oh my god, the Infinity Wars. I was almost crying. It was amazing. Jose Ramirez. <laughs> yeah. Though I did see an interview where Tim Allen said that he almost couldn't get through the last scene of Toy Story 4 because he was crying. And I'm like, don't do this to me. Oh, boy. I almost cried at the third one. I cried an officer and a gentleman. That's what I cry at. Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Best movie ever. And I can say, I don't think they make him like that anymore, unless the star is born is like that. I've always liked a dope drama. A good, really good drama movie minus, like, sicko weird stuff happening of like death and like rape or whatever just like a serious drama kind of like a bradley silver lining playbook kind of thing you know shiny neil black border Chris Ionetta. I think he's playing. I recognize his name. Ionetta. He's a catcher, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Dope. Man, I'm good. I actually know what I'm doing. I actually know sports and stuff. There's old crazy eyes. <laughs> this stuff is a true gamble. I know it's a gamble with everything, but... First, the gamble is, are you going to get an auto, or are you going to get a relic? The next gamble is, okay, am I going to get a good auto or a good relic? The next gamble is, can I get a short print or something? When you hit, they're worth pretty penny. Well, yeah, then when you hit, of course, it's extremely dope. I've misplaced my cutter already, and I just used it. So, there it is. Yeah. I want to see a Star is Born. I want to see the first astronaut thing. Oh, First Man. Really? First Man. And there was just another one with an all-star cast that I just saw. My girlfriend keeps saying, let's get movies, let's get movies. I'm like, literally, there's nothing I want to yeah. see. I'm going to play hooky here because we got a movie theater right across the street, so I'm going to go check out like is a... Is that open? There's no one ever here. 
<laughs> it's, they're open. I was sitting in the parking lot today at like yeah. 8.15, 8, and I looked to my left, and there's like a fire on the inside. It looks gorgeous, and there's not one car there. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go to like a 10.20 showing. I'm definitely going to be the only guy there. I went over there to check it out. They got like pizza and hot dogs and food in there. I like the Oh yeah, like over at um, what's the uh, town with all the giant houses? Well, there's a lot of those around here. More specific. <laughs> yeah, more specific. It's like off of ninety. Coming from the city, it begins with a B. Damn it. Barrington. Yeah. Over there in their comp in their mall area, they have one of those fancy uh, theaters where you sit down and you have waiters wait on you and. Bring you really nice food. We have a couple of them in the, around Naperville. We have three we can drive to for easily. But the one in Wheaton I like is that you yeah, start letting you pick your seats at first, and then the food was really good, and then my girlfriend's like, even the booze was good, like their mixed drinks are good. Ooh. I got a margarita? Yeah. Okay. I went to the one, went to one of the Star Wars movies, which I really don't care about, and I'll full disclosure, I'm not a Star Wars mm -hmm. person. And I went to one of those new ones with like a group of eight people, and I spent like thirty five dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. It's expensive. They're like, you can get uh, a three picture on meal three things for twenty two ninety five. I was like, let's do it. And appetizer and entree was like all of my stuff. Winner, winner. We will do next. Hopefully, the EBW fills up. That's our filler. Get some spots in the Blitz mix. I actually like to run a, a filler right now for the baseball mixer tomorrow night. How much would that be, dudes, for one spot in that? Twelve dollars for a spot. We'll run ten spots to get in the uh, baseball mixer. Is that Daniel Springer? Is it? What's this red back? That's gotta be special. Yeah. He's wrestling with Peach, right? Yeah. This must be a special red back thing. What is it? A one one? Someone googled that. Oh, that's why I checked the backs of these. This is red. But it doesn't have anything up here. But I'm wondering if that's special because they're obviously all not red. Which which division of the Rangers? Uh, Oh, this is not a divisional. So the Rangers are owned by Mel Hart. Springer, there should be breaks left, dude. Maybe somebody give Springer some links to breaks. Or just go to the website. Springer, you know, I'm telling you, I swear to God I must be psychic. Someone came in chat last night that I was thinking about that day. Like, oh, I got to email them, see what they're up to. I know what they were doing. They were like getting relocated at work or something. Springer, I was thinking about you too. I was like, wait a minute, I haven't heard from Springer in a while. I think he's coming back home from his tour of duty or something. And there he is. Live and in person. Live and in color. In living color. Oh, the memories of Homie the Clown. That's on uh, FX or something. They show it. Yeah, late at night. Yep. I, caught, I watched like two of them. And if you're ever up at like 3 in the morning on Which I am. AMC, mm -hmm. uh, there's an hour of Three Stooges. If oh, yeah, Three fans. Stooges. Yeah. It was my father's big, big thing growing up, so I'm a big fan of the Stooges. It's nostalgic for sure. 
Anytime you make fun of Nazis, it's funny to me. So. JJ, a, a one on one JJ Watt, non auto from a Panini pack. Believe it or not, I don't know. I have to look stuff up. I have no idea. But probably not as much as you're thinking. What would someone pay for that? 75 bucks, 100 bucks. Like it's not autoed and it's a panini pack. I always feel like I'm the other way with those things. I like Kayla last night when she was like, oh yeah, that Bauman you have, the 50 from Bowman worth like 80 to 100 bucks. I'm like, happy with $50. Oh. Yeah, Somebody look up what the red backs are on, on this, if anything. They gotta be some type of short back. I agree. Red back. They're probably like, oh, red backs? Those are one of one. And then Mel Hart would be happy. I've never seen a red back one. I was gonna say they could be one a case, but I don't think I've seen one while I've. Ah, uh, our final two, two or two relics. Kong V! How's it going, Kong V? Kong V, are you in my dope baseball mixer? You love baseball. What a penalty kill. You gotta get in that. Red bottoms, what are they? What does that mean? Does it give any numbers as far as anything? Print run? Uh, rarity, commonality, certain players, every player? What is it? Please. Oh, I thought you I thought you loved your baseball. Okay, well then I have a dope blitz mix for you tomorrow night. We're gonna run a mini for spots in the uh, blitz mix. Another Akuna. Regular Akuna. Dylan Kozen Shiny. Otani, regular Otani. I did not catch that. Nope, I moved on. Baseball's over and I'm out. Basically said you'll be going over to Luxury Tax next year. You won't be you'll be going for it and adding pieces. And you blame some coaches, not by name. Also blame some players, again, not by name. But we're very honest. Yeah, but I'm saying this one is magenta, so is that just a magenta variation? Not worth much, but it's the first one I've seen out of a lot.
Maybe check eBay. Put in Magenta Back Heritage. $700. Usually they put a number, guys, that tells you how rare they are. If it's just a common variation, that's boring. Maybe it looks like that might be one per case. Magenta, fifteen dollars. That's Jerks and Profar. I bet a Redback Acuna's one hundred fifty dollars. All right, let's update the board. Someone looked it up. It's 15 bucks or so. Uh, who, who it Jerks and Profar. And here it is. And here these cards are. The boxes, that's what they get. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Everything else is common as common can be. Really? Yep. Or Beckett. So those are numbered, those are basically numbered to 10? They're basically numbered to 10 without being numbered. Yeah. So in the back, the trick is finding one, each card has a print run of 10 magenta parallels per player. Seventeen. Daniel Springer. Let's run this EBW. VJK, oh Vegas.
Let's run this EB dub. 